hello sagittarius and welcome to your april 2021 video now sagittarius there's going to be a strong square between saturn and uranus throughout april all the planets are direct so it's about go 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 take action all those things we want to take action on until the 28th when and once we may retrograde stopped so important to take action strong square though between saturn and uranus it's important sagittarius to look at the things within your life structures is what saturn is everything that's structured day-to-day -day routine what we need to work on what we got to do this is what i need to be responsible for it's and sometimes even to the point where we make ourselves overly responsible for things that we don't need to be responsible for uranus is about rebellion freedom change taking a risk and basically new adventures. Uranus wants to shake things up, wants us to get out of that structured routine and said, you love freedom. That's your energy of exploring things. So like everyone, we sometimes all can get stuck in the structured system of our own mind, of patterns and things that we keep on living and doing within ourselves. This Uranus energy wants us to break free. So you need to look at yourself and see where have you live, been living, basically. If you've been living too much on the freedom and no responsibility, guess what? Saturn's going to come in and bring in the responsibility. But if you've been overly responsible with too much of a structure and too much of these patterns of how things need to be, Uranus is going to come in and bring that change. So what do we do? We seek the balance so that things don't just sway and we need a wake-up call in order to shake us out of our reality. And so we can let you, whoa, what have I been doing? This is what I need. So listen to that between structure, create time for freedom. On the 4th, we have Mercury joining the Sun and Venus in your 5th house. And on the 12th, we have a new Moon in your 5th house. 5th house, fun, adventure, inner child. Also working with children as well when it comes to children, connecting to children or also connecting to your inner child. What do you need? What will bring you fun? This is a great time for romance, creativity. If you think you're starting your business, if you think you're putting creative energy, creative juices, running with ideas into creativity when it comes to business, great. Romance, beautiful. This is that energy of feeling connected, feeling, you know, when you look at a beautiful sunset, ah, and you look at the night sky and the, and the stars are all out. It's that magic. The fifth house invites us to have that childlike wonder. And you are very much capable of that Sagittarius. On the 15th, we have Venus in your sixth house, along with, on the 20th, the Sun and Mercury in your sixth house. The sixth house, yeah, have you been overworking? Have you been overstressing? Have you been over pushing yourself? Sixth house wants some relaxation. This is about work, yes, but also routine and health. It wants you to change your routine up a bit so that you can have a healthy mind, body, and soul so that you can be more productive. So you might want to look at your body, think about what you're eating. And this does not mean like go on a terrible diet or anything like that. No, this just means take care and nurture yourself. Venus wants us to feel luxurious. It wants us to feel spoiled. So you might look at yourself and think, how can I spoil myself? What do I need? That's that energy. But also, this is a great time for work too. You can get the things that you want to do done. Just remember to create a routine for yourself, which will help you to accomplish your goals. On the 24th, we have Mars in the 8th house. Mars in the 8th house. So Mars, plant of action, 8th house, finances, money. It's looking at your finances, taking action upon your finances, taking action upon ideas to bring in more income and money. The eighth house is also about looking at your fears and anxieties. What is holding you back? What do you need to let go of so that you can take action and push forward? The eighth house is also about spiritual aspects. Are there any spiritual aspects that you want to look deeper into, want to grow into? The eighth house is about basically, you know, all those modalities when it comes to astrology, when it comes to Reiki, when it comes to chakra balancing, when it comes to anything that is relating to the spiritual realm you know to basically awaken us deeper so we have a deeper understanding of ourselves others and the world around us on the 27th full moon in your 12th house now sag 12th house is about releasing and letting go 
you don't need to carry any of those old structures that no longer are basically hindering you no longer worthy of you all structures all thought patterns that are fixed that structure anything you feel you need to be responsible to you need to break away from the 12th house wants you to let go anything of the past long ago past people from the past may pop up it's time to put it to bed and put it to rest during that full moon drink plenty of water get plenty of rest allow yourself to basically release and let go of what's no longer serving you thank you so much for watching